Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. In the previous tutorial we discussed about the indexing operation and today in this tutorial we are discussing about slicing operation. So to retrieve a single value you can use indexing. Similarly to retrieve a collection of values we will use slicing. So first we will see how to use this slicing operation on one dimensional array. In the one dimensional array, the syntax of slicing will be. So we'll need to mention the array name first. Next, we'll use the square brackets. And here will be the start, colon, end, colon, step. So here start will be the starting index of the sub array. End will be the ending index. Here start is inclusive, end is exclusive. This slicing operation is same as the list slicing. We'll see the example. So here this is the one dimensional array. If I want to get sub array which contains these three numbers in that array, then I can use this slicing operation like this. I should mention the array name that is A and the starting index that is 2 and ending index okay ending index you should mention 5 because here the end is exclusive right if i mention 4 it will take index 2 and 3 it will take the values in that index only if i want 4 also then i need to take 5 here so step is optional by default it is 1 so now if i write a 2 2 5 then i'll get the sub array with the elements 3 4 5 so here as I said step is optional similarly start and end are also optional I can just mention this this means entire array so if I just mention like this if I didn't mention start then it will take from zero index if I mention like this if I didn't mention end then it will take till end end of the array I'll show you the example for all this so here we can see the one dimensional array. So if I check A, it contains five elements. Now if I want two, three, four, then I should mention the starting as one index, end index as zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. So I want till four. So I need to take the index of five. That is nothing but four. And if I enter, we'll get two, three, four. We'll get the sub array with the elements two, three, four. Next, if I just mention like this and enter, it will take all the elements. And if I mention this step, so I'll take from one till end. So I don't mention the end value. I'll mention this step as two and enter. So two and four. So it will start from one. Here we can see zero, one index of two is one. So I took step as 2 so it don't print 3 it will print 4 so next if i didn't mention the start i'll take only end like this okay till 3 index 3 print it will print 1 2 3 so 0 1 2 3 so i mentioned the index as 3 so it will print from 0 to 2 so i can skip start end and step if i skip start then that means it will take from 0 if I skip end or stop then it will take till end of the array if I skip step that means it will take step as 1 so this is about the slicing one dimensional array so next we'll talk about the two dimensional array because two dimensional array is nothing but array within an array it contains rows and column so the syntax of slicing also different so we should mention the array name okay if i take array name as a next here start and step comma and we need to write start and step for column okay so this is for row here it is i and this is for j so we need to write start and step for i and j so for example if I want to get a sub array with element 4 and 6, then how to do that? So for that we need to write, first we need to see the row. 4 and 6, that is nothing but 1 and 2. We should consider 1 row 1 and row 2. So I'll take 
it is start from one and i'll leave it as it is i won't mention the end because till end i need to take i want six six is present in the last row okay till end i want that so i'll leave as it is i won't take this step because i want the value present in the row one and row two okay so by default step is one so no need to mention that take comma next write for the column so here i want four and six okay this and this so for that i need to mention the column column should be this is column column should be one or greater than one right so i'll mention start from one i'll leave as it is if i do this i'll get four and six so i'll show you that okay so here we can see i created that array so i want four and six so i need to mention x and here one colon one colon right and here we can see four and six we'll get four and six next if i just mention x and colon x okay so it will print entire array and next so here we can see another two dimensional array which contains three rows and four columns so we'll try something so if i want to print 6 7 8 and 30 40 50 okay so for that i need to mention first in the row so i want from 1 onwards so i'll mention 1 onwards and i'll skip and here also in the column from 1 onwards so i'll mention 1 onwards and here 6 7 8 30 40 50 so do experiment with these examples then only you'll understand each parameter and next we'll try from 0 to in the row end i won't mention the start and end in this i won't mention step also okay i'll leave as it is and in the column i'll i won't mention start and end but i'll mention the step enter we can see 1 3 5 7 20 40 1 3 5 7 20 40 okay so because step is 2 in the column that's why we got these values so in the row i didn't mention the start and end and step value so it will take entire rows so in this way this will work you can use the negative indexing also for this so next we'll see the three dimensional array how to slice three dimensional array okay so indexing or slicing three dimensional array is little bit trickier right as i said the slicing syntax is different for 1d array 2d array 3d array for 3d array it contains three dimensional so it contains i j k so we need to mention start and step thrice all right syntax will be you should mention the array name okay next here start and step comma start and step this is for two dimensional right for three dimensional another set of values this is for i this is for j and this is for k there are three dimensions so we need to mention this thrice right so let's take the example right so first we'll see how to slice three dimensional array so here we have array so here i want 159 and 13 17 21 for that what i need to do is first i need to write the array name next first i value okay so here we can see we want 159 and 13 17 21 we want element from both the arrays so i won't slice that i want all of that so i'll just mention this you can mention two colon also or you can mention just a colon and comma next coming to the row okay next is row so i want all the rows right 159 13 17 21 if i want all the rows i just can mention this next coming to the column so i want the first column right zero so starting from zero and uh, i don't want any other column so i don't mention the start okay i'll skip start and i'll mention end as one or you can mention zero to one so we'll get 159 13 17 21 so i'll show you that d of comma comma one one five nine thirteen seventeen twenty one so in this way we can slice these arrays if i want this five 
9th, 7th, 11th and 17th, 21, 1923. Only this, then I can mention like this D. So, first I want element from both the 2D array. So, I'll just take colon. I want 5, 9, 7, 11, right? I don't want first row. So, I'll take from starting from 1 till end. I won't take the end here. In the column, I want 5, 9, 7, 11. Okay. So, beginning from 0. And I don't want this column. I want this column. So, that's why I won't take start, I won't take end, but I'll take step as 2. And here we can see the 5, 9, 7, 11, 17, 21, 19, 23. So in this way we can slice 3D dimensional array. If you write down this diagram, it will be very easy to write down the syntax. Okay, so that's about the slicing in 1D, 2D and 3D arrays. That's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then take care.